Hi to everyone, today I show you the Comptometer mechanical calculator. It's different from all the others we've seen as it works on a different uh, mechanism inside and uh, basically it only does additions, whereas the others were capable of doing addition and subtractions. This one does only additions, but it can be used to do subtractions and division as well. Now I'll show you how. Anyway, what is really practical in this calculator, which is the fastest calculator to do additions, is that I can work with multiple fingers, and as, as soon as I press the button, it, it's inserted straight away in the register, and then I push another set of numbers, and I have straight away the addition of the two. And I can go on like this as much as I want. People were trained back in the past to use 10 fingers, so they were really, really fast. I believe even faster than a uh, the digital calculator, because in a digital calculator you can only insert one digit at a time. And here it said you can insert more digits and have the, the sum, the addition, straight away. To do multiplications, you do a similar thing as we've seen before. That means you repeat, repeatedly press the same buttons, moving on. So let's say I want to do 234 by 56, so we'll push five, six times this number. Two, three, four, five, six. I move one position and another five times. One, two, three, four, five. And so I have my result here, 13,104. So this can be done for even greater numbers. One, two, three, oh no. There's a button here. If you don't push one of the buttons enough, so it stays somewhere in between, everything is blocked until you finish your pushing and then you can unlock it with this button. So, let's say I do 2, 3, 4, so you see it's quite fast, as long as the number is not too big and you need to use two hands, you can do multiplications quite quickly by moving the same position of numbers to the left. So how do you do subtractions? Subtractions are done with a principle which is called the complement to 9. So let's say I have to do this subtraction. So I do 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 power 4 minus 3 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Um, what I have to do at this point, I have to take the second number, 223, subtract 1, that would be 2, 2, 2, and do then the complement to 9 of this number. Complement to 9 means the difference between 9 and this number, and that would be 7, 7, 7, right? Because 2 and 7 is 9, 2 and 7 is 9, 2 and 7 is 9. If now I do an addition of these two numbers, I've already written it here. So 5 and 7 is 12 with 1. 4 and 7 is 11 plus 1, 12. 3 and 7 is 10 plus 1 is 11. I have to take away the carry and I have the same result. It seems a little bit complicated, but apparently if you practice a little bit, you will get to do it quite quickly. Okay, so the comptometer helps us because you see very close on near each number I have a very small number which is already uh, the complement. So I know that if I have to add 222 I have to watch, uh, sorry, I have to subtract 222 I have to watch these small numbers and then do my 3, 4, 5 plus 2, 2, 2, and I'll obtain 1, 1, 2, 2, which is actually too big because we should take away this one. So, what the calculator allowed you to do is to push this little lever, and I have to do it with one hand, while you push the number to be subtracted, and in this way I have the correct result because the, the carry mechanism is blocked by pushing this little number here. So now with this concept we could do divisions as well, but they are quite complicated, I have to be honest. And I have practiced a little bit and I won't do it. Anyway, in English especially you find a lot of videos which will show you how to do divisions with a comptometer. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.